Ha! Hey everyone, Hustin here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I got another Power Rangers Dino Supercharge review for you. We have some new 5 inch figures. We have four Dino Drive Rangers the Dino Drive Graphite Ranger, Dino Drive Purple Ranger, Dino Drive Gold Ranger, and Dino Drive Aqua Ranger. And two new villains, Game Face and Ninja. So pretty cool. I know that um, at least the Dino Drive figures have been out for a little while, but I never got the chance to record my review yet. And then the other new villain figures came out. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna do all of these together. And it'll be interesting doing a review now because I just reviewed uh, uh, recently the new uh, Legacy figures. And these are amazing. So it almost feels like the five inch figures, which I loved, and they're still pretty cool. It almost is gonna feel like they're slightly a bit of a downgrade. But then again, there are two different price points, two different markets in a way, kind of. Uh, so, you know, we'll talk about that a little more. But let's take a quick look at the packaging for these figures, and then we'll get right to it. So, first up, Dino Drive Graphite Ranger right here, Prince Philip. Uh, you got some translucent uh, morpher and saber right there. So translucent weapons, pretty cool. The back of the box shows you his bio right there, so you can pause the video and read that if you would like. Okay, on to Dino Drive Purple Ranger. Pretty sweet. Um, uh, the, the image, unfortunately, is like almost a completely different shade of purple <laughs> uh, than the actual toy. In fact, on the camera, it looks pink, but it's not, I promise. Like in, in person, it's actually it actually is a little more purplish looking. Once I take it out of the packaging, maybe you'll kind of get a better sense of it. But it really does look pink in the camera, and it's not. I think it's the contrast between the two really makes it seem much more different than it actually is. But uh, it's cool to have the Dino Drive Purple Ranger. That's pretty sweet. So as we know, Purple Ranger is Kendall, Miss Morgan played by Claire Blackwater, who I had the pleasure of meeting at Power Morphicon, which is pretty awesome. And I got to meet Davi Santos, who plays Ivan, the Gold Ranger. So Dino Drive Gold Ranger right here. Pretty cool. And I'll compare all these with the regular versions of the five inch figures as well. So we do have the regular versions already. And now these are the Dino Drive Rangers, as you can see. Dino Drive Gold Ranger. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. And then of course out of the Rangers, the Dino Drive Aqua Ranger right here. Tyler's dad. Uh, is it is his name James? Is that what it is? I, I don't even remember his name. That's how bad it is, because he on the show he basically appeared, said, Hey, I'm back, I'm alive, I'm your dad, I'm the Aqua Ranger, peace out. And he disappeared. And it's like, what? Come on, man. It's just uh, so annoyed with that. But anyways, I love the the look of that suit, though. Like, that's just, like, the the images that they have, the promo shots, that just looks really awesome. It really, the the bright blue looks really cool. So, yeah. So, those, those, those are those. There we go. Uh, but then we also have the new villains. So, we have Game Face right here. Very interesting designs they have for for villain sometimes. Obviously, this one is a uh, sports base. You get the basketball hoop. The basketball is the head. Very interesting looking. Uh, so there is the biography right there. So you can pause the video and read that. And last but not least, we have Ninja right here. So. Very interesting looking design, definitely. And of course, the back of the box right there has his bio. Okay, so that's that, folks. So without further ado, let's get these figures open and take a look. All right, we have the new five inch figures out of the packaging right here, and they look pretty cool. So let's kind of jump right to it. Uh, first of all, I want to mention one thing. The previous releases of these Rangers, not in Dino Drive mode, but for example, here's the regular Aqua Ranger, had more of a solid color uh, saber and morpher, so their, their weapons were solid colors. These Dino Drive figures have translucent 
um, versions of their weapons. Uh, even the, the the Gold Ranger, this is the, the solid version that he has, which is just solid gray, and that's a little bit of a lighter gray because it's kind of translucent looking a little bit. So uh, that's kind of one immediate difference as far as the weapons go for the Rangers. Uh, but first, I just want to jump into the villains real quick and kind of go through those. Uh, so here is Game Face. And it's a very basic figure. There's no weapons, which is a bit of a disappointment. Kind of wish he had like a you know a bat or something. Uh, I think that would make it um, extra fun to to play with. Uh, but really interesting design, of course. Got the basketball face, those those crazy evil eyes there. Um, really cool, just look of of the villain there. Um, obviously, very much sports themed with all the 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 different. The balls, the chess pieces, everything right here. It just looks really interesting overall, design-wise. And then when you flip them over, you can see the rest there. Like the, uh, the golf club and the hockey stick, all that stuff. So, very interesting design, the, the tennis racket hand. Um, pretty cool looking as far as the design goes, but articulation wise, very limited. This head does not rotate because this is all one giant piece just attached to the body. The arm rotates around a little bit, but the, this back piece here prevents it from going all the way. And that's all it does. There's no elbow articulation. The hands don't rotate, nothing. It just moves up and down like that. That's it. Legs can move aside a little bit, but not much. Uh, they move forward a little bit and back a little bit. Uh, and he does bend at the knees, at least, uh, but it does not rotate at all. So very limited articulation, and there's not really much poses you can do with it because, because of that and no weapons and stuff. So this is really one of those things that you'd probably get more as like a display piece. Um, uh, but even then, I think some of the other villain figures are a little stronger in terms of the, the features and what they can do and all that. So, uh, you know, I would get this if you're a completionist and want to get all the villains. Because villain figures are just cool in general. I'm happy that we're getting those again. It's been a long time since we've really gotten much of those. And so I'm happy that we're really seeing a whole bunch. That is awesome. So props to Bandai for doing that. I just wish they were, you know, had a little bit more to them. Uh, but that being said, you know, that's one example of a villain figure, right? Now we have Ninja as another villain figure, and he has plenty of articulation. Um, now he also doesn't have as much detail per se because, um, and it's going to make the camera hard to focus because it's all kind of just mostly one solid color. Um, it's not really much of a face there. Uh, there's a little bit of that, that design on the chest piece with the blue. You got the little face right there. Um, so there's a little bit of that and you can kind of see the design like on the legs a little bit. Uh, so that's interesting. A um, little gold ring around the feet and the hands. Um, so very basic. The back has a little bit of, uh, of, of stuff on it. The silver right there. Uh, very, very basic sword. Um, as you can see, not much to that either. So very basic design of the character. But uh, in contrast, you have a decent amount of articulation. The head rotates all the way around. The arm rotates all the way and also goes up a lot. Uh, elbow articulation. The hand does not rotate, but you know, still a decent amount there. Legs can move apart quite a bit. He can move forward a little, back a little bit, but the silver uh, back piece here kind of prevents it from him too much. Knees bend and no rotation with the feet. So decent amount of articulation, um, but still pretty solid uh, figure overall. Um, so if you like the character, you think uh, this would be a cool, you know, villain for the Rangers to face off, I think this would be a, a great display piece just because you can kind of pose them in different ways because of the articulation. So that's that's pretty nice. So those are the two villain figures. So now that brings us to the new Dino Drive Ranger figures here. So let's just go left to right, starting with Graphite right here. Um, I'm just going to show you the articulation on one of these, and that'll give you the idea of, of how it... Uh, of how it is. So I'll take out the weapons. Um, as mentioned before, they're the same as before, just with, you know, just translucent now. Uh, so if I zoom in on it, same amount of detail and everything from before. Sorry, trying to focus, uh, but just translucent. So yeah, anyways. So there's that. Uh, so articulation wise, 
Uh, it'll be similar for all the guys, so I'll show you uh, the Purple Ranger separate, but the head rotates around um, all the way. These shoulder pieces do move up and down for flexibility so that you can move the arms up and down, uh, and it does rotate all the way around. Uh, this whole glove piece rotates as well, bends at the elbow, so great articulation there. With the legs, it can move apart quite a bit, moves forward and back, bends at the knees, and the whole boot rotates around as well. So classic articulation for the five inch ranger figures uh, and great, definitely definitely pretty nice. So uh, taking an up close look at the figure itself, there's the helmet design, which looks pretty cool. Uh, the main item you know, that's, that's really truly different is this chest piece here. Um, and you see the, the Paki Zord in there as well, which looks pretty sweet. Um, the rest is all pretty similar. Um, there's the back piece there. Uh, for comparison's sake, uh, here is the regular Graphite Ranger on the right. So as you can see, the helmet sculpt is the same. In fact, most everything is the same except uh, this chest piece here. This one is a red circle in there. This one's yellow and you have a second one there. Um, and then the chest piece is different. But everything else is the exact same articulation, design. Um, so the chest piece here being gold with the Packy Zord, you have this little Dino Charger image with yellow and that's gold with the Packy Zord in there. So that's kind of your, your design difference. So, you know, if you're not looking to collect every single, you know, kind of Ranger, you just want to pick whichever one looks better, these are what they look like. Um, and so you have your, your choices there. Okay. Uh, so now we have the gold Ranger right here. Um, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Again, you know, here's the translucent version of the weapon. As you can kind of see my fingers through here a little bit. Um, so you can see it's a little translucent. You have the, uh, the morpher here as well. Um, so there's that. Uh, and that does, you know, come off and so on. So you do have that option. Um, design wise, uh, the blue and gold go together really nicely. So that looks great. Um, I love this, this shiny blue. Blue is my favorite color and I think that looks really cool. Not just on the little spikes up there, but right in this little chest piece. Uh, it looks really cool. And you have the the Terrazord inside as well. Uh, for comparison's sake, I have the regular uh, Gold Ranger right here. Um, hold on, the arm is all twisted around. There we go, okay. So, here they are side by side. And as you can see, again, same kind of story. Most of the body, the legs, the arms, the, the head sculpt is all the same, different chest piece. Instead of the red in there, you got the yellow. And actually the spikes are a little different here, whereas these are like zig ziggy zaggy spikes. These are just kind of straight coming out of there. And then the chest piece is totally different though. Uh, and they did take the blue background and put it right in there with a lighter blue right there. Um, so that's kind of your, your differences between the two designs. And then this has the little wings in the back, and this one just has the same standard one that like the Graphite Ranger has right there. So, pretty interesting. Okay, I'm gonna skip the Purple Ranger because different articulation, uh, and jump to the Aqua Ranger right here. Um, I love this, the bright blue color. I think it's, it's pretty cool to have uh, more Rangers like that. And just zooming in on them. Looks really nice, and of course you have the Dino Charger in there. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, for comparison's sake here is the regular Aqua Ranger. Same differences, yellow instead of red, and then the Dino Charger is different. The gold background here is now gold inside there with the Zord. Um, but the rest is the same. Pretty cool. I can't wait for the Dino Super Drive uh, Ranger figures. Those are going to be really cool. And then last but not least, we have Kendall, Miss Morgan. Let's take the, the weapons out right there. Let's take a quick look at the articulation. Uh, so the head does rotate all the way around. The shoulder pieces do move up and down. The arms move all the way around, bends at the elbow, and the whole glove rotates around. So same articulation there. It's really the legs where more limited because of the skirt. You really can't move the legs forward or back very much 
or side to side. It's very limited. You can bend at the elbow, and the boot does rotate around, but because of the very limited articulation, you really can't do too much with it. Um, and it feels so just like weak just looking at these tiny little arms. It's just, it's, it's a shame. But that being said, the legacy figures I think are a great step up. You know, you have the, the Ninja Storm Blue Ranger uh, as part of the legacy line. And by the way, in comparison's sake, for size difference, I mean, that's a huge difference there. Uh, legacy figures are amazing. I love the five inch figures, they're cool. Um, and they're a different price point. They're cheaper, and I still would love to collect the five inch figures. Uh, but if you're looking for something a little bit more, the legacy figures are fantastic. Uh, that being said, there are no Dino Charge legacy figures right now or announced yet, so who knows when or if those will ever come. Uh, so I definitely recommend picking up uh, the Purple Ranger and these other Rangers too, because you know the more the female Ranger figures that you buy, the more you're going to show Bandai, you know that they sell and and they should continue making more. So. Um, here's an up-close look at the Purple Ranger right there. Okay. And then for comparison's sake, here's the regular Purple Ranger right here. Same difference, you got yellow instead of red, and then the chest piece is different because you have a yellow background there, you have a yellow background right in there as well, and then that uh, Dino Charger image there. The helmet sculpt is the same, everything else is the same, articulation is the same. That's pretty much it. So pretty cool, definitely pretty neat new uh, additions to the 5-inch line. Um, so. I, I recommend getting them. I think they're 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 pretty neat. Um, it, you know, if you don't care to collect all the different versions of the Rangers, then I would almost say you could get the regular versions of the Rangers and then wait for like the Super Drive figures because those are even these are basically these designs but even more with more spikes and everything. Um, I saw them at Power Morphicon on display and they looked really cool. Uh, so then you really have the you know the best of both worlds. But that being said, I think these are still neat little figures and, and it's cool to have so many different Power Rangers this season. Uh, so you really get a whole variety of colors and everything. So I think it's still at least worth collecting. Uh, the villain figures, you know, I would just get kind of your, your favorite picks. For me, I love the fact that they're making villain figures and I want to keep supporting that. So I'm, I've been buying all of them. Um, but you can definitely kind of take your pick and see which villains you want. And any of them will, will be, you know, a great display uh, piece, you know, fighting against the Rangers or anything like that and they're all pretty solid too for kids to kind of play with and everything there the the five inch figure line is, is pretty solid um there's really not much bad about it there's there's lots of positives with it so definitely worth uh looking into so anyways uh that's that hope you guys enjoyed my review of these new five inch figures thank you so much for watching and i will see you later hope you guys enjoyed my review of the new five inch figures as you can see these are all of the dino charge figures with the Dino Drive Rangers right behind them. And they just look really cool. I mean, I just love seeing all of these colors. Um, this is just so cool what they've done with this toy line and how they've released so many different uh, Power Rangers. Um, and this, then you have the Dino Steel Rangers, the Dino Super Drive ones coming out. We still have the Silver Ranger and if they release Talon Ranger figure and I mean there's there's so much on the way uh, which is really exciting and, and I love just this kind of thing when you can have a whole Ranger team on display that just is fantastic to me and that's what I love I love being able to collect an entire set that's a big thing for me and I love that about the five inch figures I think they look really cool all together all colors of the rainbow it's awesome anyways hope you guys enjoy this review thank you so much for watching and I will see you later